here's a Excel spreadsheet. It goes through a back site here. So you've got your initial coordinates, your occupied coordinates. And this here calculates the uh, angle. I don't think I put that down there. It would be in this column here. That's the formula for that. I don't know what this is, if this was anything here, but I think it's just a remnant. And then uh, here's your azimuth. I just added 180 because I turned it 180 to get the deflection angle. There wasn't really a left, there wasn't a Q, Q here to do it because it's just coming off the backside, whether you're going to turn it uh, or you're going to do a deflection. And here we did a deflection, so I added the 180. And uh, this formula here, so right there, I actually did put it there, right? And then I think there's another formula there. Yeah, so this is that's the formula for this the two coordinates to get the azimuth. There's the addition to get the, you know, adding 180. Here's the degrees, minutes, and seconds from degrees, minutes, and seconds that you input. Right there, you left turn deflection, right turn, left turn, left turn deflection. It has to be specifically that way. And then this here reads that, goes back in time and starts looking at the information right here. Uh, so here's so going to get your your uh, your azimuth. You kind of to forget this stuff up here. This will give you azimuth from looking at that. Uh, looking at this left turn, whether you're going to add 180, subtract 180, or just leave it alone, tells it what to do. And then this will tell you the bearing, so it gives you the southerly, the westerly, kind of goes it if, ands, or buts. This will give you, if, and, you know, this will give you the northing or easting uh, for this column. I don't know, this looks like it's over here, right? And then uh, if, I don't know why I ended up skipping that. Oh yeah, so this here's giving you the, the the azimuth, and then this here's giving you the bearing. I don't know. I went through all this stuff, but this will actually take that and give you a bearing, right? Depending on this is south, and then once you get the bearing, it gives you the west. Just does all this stuff kind of depending on it, kind of honestly tell you. But the and then the way they do this is. They kind of make it so when you have to zoom way out to see what the formula is, right? Because I can't tell if it's to the west or right. Um, distance, there's your distance that you input. It gives you the latitude, and I tried to line them up here. So this is your latitude. There's your departure right there. And then there's your uh, north thing. Gives you the coordinates. Uh, this adds the coordinate so that you get the new coordinate, this coordinate, and then it takes this stuff, adds it, so you get the new coordinates. And then uh, Q4, Q5, I think that's just adding, giving you the coordinates again. And then, uh, so if you just take these, pretty much move them up like that, there is that, right? The P4 plus N5, P4 plus N5. And uh, honestly, I don't know what that is, it's a remnant. And this is this one, and then this. So then you'd start with the initial coordinates, you add the latitudes, the latitude, and it gives you all of that. And then this here is uh, the total distance. This is your sum of the latitudes and departures there. You take those and bring them down here. Take that, bring it down here. So this is all dependent on that stuff. All right. And uh, this is just a calculation to get the uh, precision. And then, uh, I don't think this is all remnants over here, I think. But then they get the latitude, the departures and adjustments. So you go negative one times, so this is positive. It's gonna be a negative for the latitudes. Same thing, a negative there, you want it to be a positive, so you just multiply it by opposite, or a neg by a negative, and it'll change it. And then, there's your, so there you go. It's a, I think you can zoom in there, this one here. That's that formula. Here, the new new coordinates, right? Starts takes the initial coordinates and starts adding the adjusted ones, and then you get the new coordinates, and then you can copy and paste those into an X Y Z, and uh, yeah, you can see the original X Y Zs and the, the, the new X Y Zs, and these will close out and see how the latitudes and departures equal zero. So there's the formulas. If you're interested, you don't have to figure them out, uh, or you can just kind of understand how the if ands whatever those functions work. 
Uh, it's a little tricky figuring them out because not too many people are doing it. Um, usually it's if it's a specific number, return a specific uh, text. But this was, we, and that's kind of what we're doing here. But anyways, it was a little tricky figuring them out. Got them, don't want to have to figure them out again. So now I can go back and watch this too. And then I've got a video on how to do XYZ coordinates, and paste them into that uh, design CAD. Same thing here, just take them, put them in design CAD, and you'll close out the new coordinate here. Should be exactly the same as the the initial coordinate. That's how it closes. And right here, it was a little bit, uh, once it went past 360, so this is greater than or less than 360, that gave it so that it actually turned around and closed. Uh, you still had a legitimate bearing. That's it. Hope that helps in your career and or, you know, classwork. And thanks for watching.